Welcome back guys, my name is Skormimu. Today we're going to talk about the British Tier 10 Heavy Fighter, the Javelin. But today we're going to talk about the plane, we're going to talk about my equipment, we're going to talk about uh, the modules and all the stuff that I use, and then we're going to look at my pilot, and after all that boring stuff, we got a lovely game from the live feed earlier today. So, uh, let's get into it. So, the Tier 10 Gloucester Javelin, the Heavy Fighter on the British Tech Tree. This one is the one that comes after the P228, which I have a video about as well. If you want to go have a look for that, I'll see if I can link it somewhere. Um, this is the tin, tier 10 version. I apparently can't speak today. She is a beast. It's massive. That's the first thing you can see. If I just take away the menu, look at that. It is absolutely massive. This thing is all about firepower. And those are the ones that are the guns on the wings, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. So let's go have a look. So if you look at the engine, it's a meaty, meaty engine with 4,990 kilograms of foot pound thrust, I think it is. It is absolutely insane. It's a very, very meaty engine. And because of the engine, if you look at it, we have a cruise speed of 663 kilometers an hour. If we boosting, we have a speed of 1124 kilometers an hour. You got a boost duration of 36 seconds and a maximum dive speed of 1200 kilometers an hour, which is immense. This thing is scary quick. I really, really enjoy this one. Um, we got hit points of 1200, so you have quite a lot of hit points. When you see what guns they have, the hit points go rather scary quickly. So if you look at the maneuverability, this is where this plane is not good. Average time to turn 360 degrees will take you 15.5 seconds. So yes, her turning takes probably longer than the Titanic when she was still afloat. So that will take a very, very long time. So don't expect to outturn anything. Just uh, just go out and just destroy stuff. Altitude performance is very good on this thing. A maximum optimum altitude of three thousand and a service ceiling of five thousand. I've hit five thousand with this quite often. Uh, she will get there when you boost. And the way I set her up, oh my god, she does get there. Now we're gonna go to the fun part of the javelin. My favorite part. The 430 millimeters. These are a love and hate relationship. More the love than hate because they're odd. So let's look at it. So the damage per second is 330. We got four of them. The rate of fire is 300 rounds a minute and we have an effective firing range of 800 meters. The 300 damage per second, 330, that is high. And we got four of them with 800 meters of range. And then that is insane. These things hit so hard if you hit because the wing mounted you're gonna fire into a cone um it's, it can be a bit of an odd one when you get close to someone but when you get on the the perfect range they will absolutely obliterate someone um i definitely think that adrenaline brush would be very good on this one but we'll talk about that later when you use these guns as you can see the dps of Let's say you hit all the guns at the same time. You will do 1,401 damage a second. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. It does so much damage that you can literally... If when you hit something, a GAA, a jet, if you can hit them, a heavy, you will melt them like nothing. The problem is, and this is why the half love-hate relationship is... It's really hard to hit them. <laughs> the lead is weird. They're very, very slow velocity rounds. But for some reason, sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't. It, it Sometimes your rounds will go through the plane. And then for some reason, it doesn't really hit, which is odd. And then the other time it does hit. So it's a bit strange. But when you hit people with it, oh my lord, there is literally nothing left of them. This hits very very hard when you're in a gaa and this thing comes at you yeah that's uh that's gonna be good night y you're gonna bend over grab your knees and kiss your ass goodbye because this thing will wreck gas it's absolutely scary how good this is so when you hit something with this you're golden if you miss well crap <laughs> let's go on to the service so we can see what kind of equipment i run of course I run myself an improved gyroscopic sight, which is for accuracy, so plus 9% accuracy of forward firing offensive armament, uh, minus 8% pilot resistance to injuries. I don't take that much damage anyway, so yeah, that, that's alright. 
and then a 5% chance of inflicting critical damage. Ble Oops, sorry. Believe me, with these 30 millimeters, you're gonna do enough critical damage anyways, so the 5% is nice. I don't think you're gonna notice it too much because, yeah, it does a lot of damage anyways. Then, if we look at the engine, I got the improved high-speed gas turbine. It gives me plus 4% acceleration with the boost activated and plus 2.2% maximum speed with boost activated as well. It does give me minus 10% boost availability, which I counter with the engine cooling, but we'll go over that in a minute. And my bonus uh, characteristics are 5% engine cooldown rate, which is nice because then that means my, my uh, engine will be back faster than it would be normally. Then we have a slot for the forward firing weapons. I have the improved gas operators action, which gives me 6.1% rate of uh, fire on the forward firing guns. So more rate of fire <laughs> means more damage down the range, <laughs> means more ouch <laughs> and melting planes. And then I have minus 5.4% accuracy. So my accuracy is a bit off. That could probably be with, you know, why I can't hit sometimes, but you do want that rate of fire on it because like I say, throw enough shit against the wall and something will stick. And then we got a bonus of plus 5% chance of causing a fire. That is quite nice because 30 millimeters, uh, they will set fires, but not too often. They're more criticals than anything. Then for consumables, I got a first aid because if my pilot is dead, my accuracy goes down and everything else. So not good. I need that. Then I got the engine cooling, which improves the engine cooldown rate by five times for 10 seconds. This will give you 10 seconds of free boost. That with the uh, engine equipment, it is a beast. So this will give you 10, uh, 10 seconds of free boost. Use that to climb away from people or get to people or anything. It's amazing. Then I got myself improved mixture control, which increases the engine thrust by 3%. That is effective the entire game, so you pay for it to go into the game, and then you have it for the entire game. Really, really nice. Very good for when you're flying something that is fast, aka the javelin. And then, of course, I run universal ammunition, which increases the chance of causing fire and inflicting critical damage, but it does have slow velocity, so I could probably counteract all the velocity problems with just firing normal ammo. Um, but I'm me, and I'll just learn to play with the velocity that this gets, and then learn to aim, which I am still learning, so if you, we're gonna go into the video, which is later on, I am not great. It was an okay game, but it could have been way better. I'm still learning to use this javelin, I'm still trying to unlock the uh, specialized state, and then I hopefully can make it even better, but so for now, I'm still learning, just like most people are. Let's jump into my pilot. I have a very fresh pilot, so I only have Marksman 1 and Marksman 2. Marksman 1 will give me another 5% of this uh, reduces on the dispersion. Then Marksman 2 reduces the dispersion again by another 5%, so that's 10% in total. And then another 10% of accuracy when firing at actively maneuvering targets. Most of the times, um... They're not really maneuvering when I come in. They start maneuvering when they get hit. So, but then most of the times I miss them. So it, it's a bit of a hit and a miss in Marksman 1 and 2. Well, at least the number 2. But it's still the 5% reduced dispersion. It's very, very nice. Because, you know, smaller circle to shoot in means more rounds are going to hit my target. Definitely, uh, when I get it, I'm going to go for Adrenaline Rush. Normally, I wouldn't do that on a heavy run. Because that will reduce the weapon overheating. I don't need that. I need the increased firing accuracy by another 10%. That's what I want because... Sometimes you need more accuracy, but then again, you know, are you going to hit someone after 10 seconds when you just killed someone because this thing turns, what, 15 seconds? So, you know, I might not even do that one and get something else. Then, of course, I've gone for Engine Guru 1, which increases the engine thrust by 3%. I mean, it's a heavy engine thrust is always good. Extra 3% on a strong engine means, oh yeah, let's do this. <laughs> so... If I would get another skill, I'd probably go for Firefighter, or Fire Resistance, sorry, which reduced the fire duration and damage by 20 seconds, because this thing is not really maneuverable, which kind of throws Firefighter out of the window. You could also say, take Marksman 2 off and go for Engine Guru 2, get some more engine power. It depends, whatever you like. To me, you know, this this works out really well. You know, there are some other ones, like increased chance of setting an enemy aircraft on fire, cause a critical damage when you're diving. Could also be nice on this one. Because you will be diving quite often because you're, you're lurking from high altitudes and then dumping into people. So, 
that is pretty much the boring side. Like I said, it's a heavy. She doesn't turn. You want to pray from above. Look at your targets. Swoop into your targets. Do your damage and get the hell out. Do not think about turn fighting someone. Just do your damage and get it over with. If you can't kill him, continue. Someone else will kill it. If not, if so, nobody's going to kill him, you just fly away. Get your altitude. Get your distance. Turn this ship around. <laughs> Come back in and do the same thing again. Even if you don't kill him, believe me, you're going to do a lot of critical hits. I've just noticed also that I have a really bad cold. My apologies for that, so I'm probably sounding a bit odd right now. Right, enough with this boring chit-chat. Let's get into the video and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If this thing opens up and you're in front of it, oh, you're going to have a bad, bad time. Like a really bad time. I mean, opening this thing up on a GAA... I, I don't know. I think there is a law against this, like kicking puppies. It's like the GAA sees you, and you're like, oh, da, 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 and it's in the story. The front line. All right, see you later, Angel. Whoa, hello, <laughs> hello. Right, time for the heavies. The only problem I have with this plane is when you're behind it, you won't see anything. Would be good if I hit something, right? Welcome to the British 30s. They really won't want to hit. But when they hit, oh my lord, you're in a bad day. I mean, don't get me wrong. This thing does climb like no tomorrow. But it's not XF90 climbing. Where is the heavy? There it is. Come here, Abby. There we go. Time to boost, boys. We got some in there. What we got? F-86. Who's closer? You are. Yak-30. Okay. Let's go, boys. Yak-30. Time to, um... Annihilate a freaking tiny plane. Seems like we killed the Yak-30 to me. Right, that's another one down. What we got here? Um, that seems like the XF-90. Oh, there. No, no, Rabbi! <laughs> oh, well, that was wonderful. <laughs> See you later, Bob. Thank you for being here, buddy. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, they got it because I died? Oh, man, Scully. Such a disappointment to your team. Well, let's go to this side. I do like flying into people, this thing. She's just such a big bitch. And the guns. Woo! <coughs> Woo! They're great. The guns are great when you hit something. Okay, there is a big if, of course, if you hit something. The big if. <laughs> That's what I mean. Right, I guess we'll just uh, go this way. No, or not. We'll just go this way now. But this is what I mean with a big if. <laughs> this plane completely depends on how much ping you have. If you have a slight bit too much ping like we have today, it's really hard to hit something. But God, she hits like a freaking truck. Oh dear, not good. Not good, boys. Let's go. Oh, stop. I'm sorry, but I need to get out. So I'm going to just shoot you if you don't mind. Well, stop is like, really? Me again? What did I do this time? I think, I, I don't know what I got behind me, but it freaking hurts. Oh, Ronald in the XF-90, okay. Ronald the McDonald's in the XF-90. Oh, that's not good. The enemy. You must turn the tide of the Done it! Advise, the enemy 
What we got? Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We're dead, 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 we're dead. I'm just gonna turn and make it easier for my team to get him. Because they're all gonna go after me now. It's all up to you now. Can we shoot over 1300 meters? That would be really cool if we could. Hello? This is what I mean with the, with the shells, you know? It's the same as with the swift. You can shoot and you can actually go right through the guy. But you won't get the kill. It's really weird. It's really, really weird. Can whoever is on my ass stop it? No, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Aha. They stopped. They listened to me. How nice of them. Well, he died. Turn this heavy thing around. Okay, what we got? Oh, he died as well. Okay. Maybe we can get some repairs now. Oh, repairs. Just what we needed. There's Ronald again, boys. It seems like my, my, my shells are actually going through the targets. Really odd. I definitely need like Marksman 1 and 2 on this. Oh, I have Marksman 1 and 2 on this. But there, there you go. I mean, that's a like a lot of bullets going right through your face. You would think you would be dead by now. But no. That worked. Right, let's go and get him here. Let's see what we can do. I'm sorry, Mr. Airplane, but I need you to really die quickly. Yes, there we go, boys. That's what we needed to see. Hey, go away, you. That's what we needed to see. Okay, we got an uh, ME-10, whatever that is. F7U. We should be able to get this guy. He's normally rot. Oh, okay. There we go. Right, so I was saying about the ME-10, well, the 1102, what, or like a GAA, what you can do to a GAA. Of course, I should show you guys. That's what you do to a GAA. Oh, he's looking at me. Right, so we're going to turn around and give that GAA a bit of a show what happens when you shoot at a, uh, a javelin. Please, teammates, leave that guy to me because he shot at me. Poor bastard. He had no clue what was happening. It's like, I see someone there. I'm going to shoot at him. Yeah, well, that turned out well for you. There we go. Let's go for the Ostap in the um, LA-15. He knows that I was coming. That kind of sucked. Because that turns my engagement into poop. Let's see if we can go for the 1101. Really fast plane. It's quite maneuverable, actually, for, uh, for a tier 10. There we go. There's so much damage in these guns, it's ridiculous. Hey, it's Ostap again, boys. We'll just fling it that way and see if we get a hit in. Well, someone else got the kill, but we got a hit in. Alright, what we got down here? F-86A. Never mind, he did. So yeah, she doesn't turn well. But, you know. Who needs turning when you have big guns, right? This F-6U or F-7U looks like it's kind of stalling, so that would be perfect for us. Oh no, he's coming closer. What we got up here? I bet you that's the XF-90. Yes, it's Ronald and the XF-90. Revenge for every single time he crashed into me. All enemy aircraft are destroyed. Right, and the last one is here. That's the one we just flew past in the Fucker Wolf 252. 
Come on, Scully, get the kill on him. Oh, you've got hits on him. Come on, come on, steer this beast. We're a bit close. Hey, good game, boys. At the end, we still got Great some points in. Today. There we go. We'll we got ourselves 19,000 and an ace. Yes, I'm happy about this one. Yeah, good game. Right, so when this thing is done loading, let's see what we did. We see double loading now, so that makes it more exciting, I think. The better results are 19,025 points and uh, 206,000 credits, 515, okay, 13,000 XP, which is nice. We got two tokens, we got, we got our ace medal for 20 kills. We got ourselves Maguire Medal for awarding for learning, or learning, earning at least four recapture points in a single sortie and heavy fighter. Coasted up, awarded for destroying at least five records from the enemy combat group after the arrival of the squall line. So we killed a lot of people in the squall line. So that's good. Literally just 20 kills. So that's good. Very nice. Four sectors captured. So I could have captured one more to make it look prettier. But yeah, you know, not bad. 600 capture points. Very, very nice. 9,000 damage. Oof. Could be way higher with this thing. But 9,000 is not bad. Team score wise, yeah, I definitely, um, well, we de definitely deserve this win. Full tier 10 match, so you can't get any worse than this. But it was a great game. I'm really happy with that one. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoy. And bye-bye. Uh,